G'day, my name is Mark, this is Dimitri, and tonight we're going to talk about solid state drives. Now when I go out and do computer installs, most computers we've been installing until recently have had hard drives in them. But now we've seen solid state drive prices drop, I really am now pushing using solid state drives only on office machines or home machines. Dimitri, what do you think of solid state drives? Once you go solid state, you will never ever go back to the old mechanical hard drives. So yeah, we've been pushing solid states for quite a while as well. And um, they just make any computer within a certain time frame or age uh, completely different. They transform the computer just to something so much better. I got my first uh, Intel 80 gig solid state uh, five years ago and best thing I ever did and uh, once you go to solid state you will never go back to mechanical hard drives. Mm. I agree with that and one of the funny things is you, you sort of think okay look sure the hard drive's going to be a bit slow but once it loads into memory you know it should be all good but it's not it's with the solid state there's that that snap um, and especially with some of the older machines you, you think well solid state you know, some of those old machines don't support all the features the solid state has. But I've replaced hard drives with solid states and old machines, and the machine's twice as quick. Uh, and I, I say to the client, look, um, this is a little bit quicker, and they'll use it, and I go, wow, this is incredible. This is like a new machine. Um, the, yeah, they're brilliant. There's nothing more I can say. They are brilliant. It is the single best upgrade you can do to any computer obviously of a certain age range. Um, you know, you've got to have a Core 2 Duo or faster processor to take advantage of it. But they are the best thing, you know. Nothing, there's nothing else you can do to a computer to make such a big transformation in the responsiveness on the way the computer works. All right, so what we're going to do over here is we're cloning a Windows 8 install from a solid state to a mechanical hard drive. So we're just going to click Proceed. And this way, while you're watching, you can see us um, actually unplug and replug, and you can see the speed difference um, between them. So um, this ain't going to take long to do. You should see this solid state to solid state. It's even faster. Mm. Now, one question I have for you, um, Dimitri, is because you work in the shop, you see a lot of returns on hard drives and solid state drives. Now, um, most of the machines that we work on still have hard drives in them, but with your experience, what what's your uh, view on failures with uh, hard drives compared to solid state drives? Uh, hard drives, five, ten percent failure rate. Let's just say, uh, solid states, one to three percent failure rate. Um, but I'm starting to see more of the older solid states starting to fail. Um, so we stick to the Intel solid states and uh, we find them to have the uh, by far the lowest return rate of uh, any hard drive. Solid state drive? Intel solid state hard drive. I'm not saying that the others are bad, I'm just saying this is the one that we have the most experience with. Or well, we sort of transition to the Intels once they become affordable. There was a point when the Intels were very expensive and it was more cost effective to use a different brand. But once the Intel's dropped their pricing to compete or come close to compete with the other manufacturers, we just switched to using Intel exclusively. Mm. And in the past I've used uh, Samsung as well as Intel's and I, even though the Samsung's are rated. There you go, the cool. column disk file. That was uh, a basic installation, that's why it was so quick. Um, so you can shut down the system and plug in whichever hard drive you want to boot up with. You might want to grab your phone so you can try and time it. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't have much experience with the new Samsung SSDs in uh, return rates because I've only sold, uh, compared to Intel's, only like a few of them. So um, maybe like 20 or 30 Samsungs. And that's not enough to get any indication of a return rate. And it takes takes years um, to get an indication on what they will be like over time. Um, 
So, but I would expect Samsung solid states to be quite good. Um, I wouldn't have a problem putting mine on my computer. So let's shut this down. And pull, I'll the disc, pull the disc out of the DVD drive so it doesn't affect the startup speed. Okay. Let's turn it back on and check the disc. Yeah, just turn it back off, just hold the power button. Close it back in. Hard drive out. So both the hard drive and the SAR, uh, both the solid state Oops, and sorry. the 500 gig Seagate mechanical drive are both connected to the SATA 6 gigabit. The Seagate 500 gig hard drive would probably be one of the slowest mechanical drives you can get. Um, the three terabyte and bigger drives are actually much faster. Right, I'm ready to go, so I'll get my phone. This is real scientific stuff we've got going on over here. Wow. Ah, uh, that's better. So sometimes computers just, I guess that's why Macs are better. Mm -hmm. Still got this flow. Still yeah, loading 31 up. seconds. Are we at 31 seconds? Yes. Wow. Oh, Bob. Uh, uh, uh. The test is open Internet Explorer. We've got to get okay. Internet Explorer open. Waiting. Wait, wait, wait. Wait now. Okay, 54 seconds. All right. We are connected to the Internet. Uh, the computer's not. His. This computer has only had a Windows 8 installed on it. It has not had drivers, not updates, not a single program, nothing. This is as fast as you can make a Windows 8 system. But this Windows 8.1 disk does have a lot of updates already pre-installed. All right. Okay, phone ready, me ready, go. So you saw the ghosting process, identical operating systems. Hopefully it turns on. Alright, let's not explore. Come on, mouse. That's it. Okay, done. 23 seconds. Half the time. Well, more than half the time. <laughs> That's the difference a solid state will make to a computer system. There's no other simple way to show you. And not only is it startup times and loading times, it's just the way it responds to whenever you click on stuff. Opens. It's everything. Everything. Yep, everything. Uh, you know, 3D game frames per second? No. Um, you know, video rendering times? No. Um, it, but when you're in the program, clicking things, opening up effects, and, and using the program, 100%. Yep. And one other thing. Can you hear it? I can hear the computer, but yeah, the, the drives don't make um, any sound at all. And uh, they have a very low failure rate. Speed, low failure rate. The only con is price and the size of the hard drive. So you have to, yeah, most people will need a mechanical drive sitting next to it where all of your documents are, your music, your pictures, and your stuff like that. So generally what we would do when I set up a system is you open up the user profile, and you have to have a second hard drive. And you would open up, uh, right-click my documents, properties, location, and you can move the documents folder to the mechanical hard drive. And I do this for customers because most, most customers just save it where it normally goes. So you need to move those normal locations to the other hard drive so they don't fill up the solid state. And that's a key thing to do for the 95% of users that just use the computer. I think we probably should validate that, say that uh, for 
quite a few office machines, as long as we put a decent sized solid state drive in the machine, uh, 240 gig is heaps. But for a lot of people with home machines, there's lots of photos, there's videos, there's movies. Uh, sure, uh, have the solid state as your boot drive, your working drive, then have a hard drive, or don't put the hard drive in the machine, but use external storage. Put it in the machine. Or use it still storage. Or use external. You can do, uh, the most important thing to do is, you better get this right. Use a solid state drive. Back up your data. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs>